the rambly guide to exercise. Do you want to be fitter? How about some star jumps? Not for you. What about lifting some weights? Not your cup of tea. Why not try running? You could tackle the chaise to one furlong program. You'll need the right clobber. A thick woolly jumper. Some long baggy shorts. A pair of thick woolen socks. Some leather boots with steel toe caps. Don't forget your cloth cap. Make sure there's not too much flesh showing. You don't want to excite those delicate ladies. Time to run. Not bad. You'll need to move in a forward direction. That's it. Lift those knees right up to your armpits. Just a little quicker. You'll soon be running a mile in just two and a half hours. Next time, climbing Kilimanjaro in a bathing suit with a teapot on your head. So today, I'm going to be doing something that I haven't done for ages. And no, it's not the washing up or putting the bins out. I'm going to run some intervals. Now, if you are a newer runner, you might not know what intervals are, but it's quite simple really. It's a bit like, I think, Couch to 5K, because when you run Couch to 5K, you do a bit of walking, then you do a bit of running, then you do a bit more walking. That's how it works. It's good fun till you get later on, then it gets a bit more frantic, let's be honest. But to start off with, that's how it works. Now, intervals are very similar to that because you uh, do a bit of slower running, then you do a bit of faster running, and a bit of slower running, a bit of faster, and so on. That's how it goes. So that is what I'm going to be doing today. So I've started the session and it's on a 150 steps per minute to start off with just as a warm up and then it'll be increasing with 10 beats steps per minute every 60 seconds or so far and there's some long uh, four minute, three minute, two minute intervals in this one and uh, also some slow ones for uh, recovery, for heart rate recovery. So I'm going to get on with uh, uh, with this interval now, she's talking in my ear. I'm gonna get on with intervals and I'll tell you all about it on the other side. There we go. Interval session complete. I've had to switch cameras. <laughs> the other one, no battery. I've hardly used it. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, it's new, so in case you haven't noticed. And uh, anyway, I digress. Session done. I have to say, I really enjoyed that. I thought that was really good. But before I tell you any more about it, I must say, uh, I do, if you can do me a little favour, because if you're new here, I'd be delighted if you hit the subscribe button. And if you enjoyed the video, please hit like, because both of those things really help out this channel. Thank you very much. Note to self, pack spare battery before you venture out. <laughs> so yeah, first interval session I've done for such a long time. And I, I really enjoyed that, actually. It's a 35 minute track on my phone but it's actually a 25 minute session so there's a warm up and a, and a cool down and it's mainly features is 150 as I said earlier uh, was the slow bits and then the fast bits 175 and 180 uh, and you had intervals of two minutes three minutes and four minutes so the longest interval uh, and hardest interval was four minutes at 180 but I had to say I, I really enjoyed it and it felt good it felt much better than I thought it would after having not uh, done intervals for so long so I'm really pleased about that. Another box ticked. Must do more of those. Now, something I did want to talk about this week. If you saw last week's video, you will know that I mentioned that for me, I want to do more than just easy runs because I've been doing easy runs, really predominantly easy runs for a long time. And really I should be mixing it up a bit, but of course that might not work for you. You've got to do what's right for you. And there might be all sorts of reasons why you can't venture out and do intervals or fart legs and goodness knows what else. You may be that uh, there might be a, a physical reason why you can't get out at the moment. Who knows? Well, it could be 101 different reasons why you can't, but at least if you're getting out and doing something, well, that's better than sitting at home and just put your feet up, really. Uh, it might be walking. If you follow me on Strava, you will see that uh, most of my activities on there are in fact walking. I go out and I walk my dogs every day. It's really great, it keeps your head in a good place, particularly when the days are shorter. In the winter, it's great to be able to get out during the day. So I'm very lucky, I work for myself, so I'm able to organize my day so that I can get out 
um, bought the dogs out with my wife. It's very pleasant. And yeah, and then sometimes I have to work a bit in the evening to catch up. But uh, yeah, you know, that's okay. That's all right. That's fine. It's, uh, it's a good thing because it gets me out and uh, keeps my head in, in a good place. So if that's you as well, be confident in what you do and enjoy what you do. And it's all good. Every step is a, is a good thing. I just want to kind of make that point because last week I was sort of banging on and saying, oh, we need to get out, we need to do this, we need to do that. Well, I do because I'm uh, hopefully going to be doing a half marathon later in the year. So I want to make sure that I'm in the best place to do that. So for me at the moment, that means going out and doing other sorts of runs. That's really what I wanted to say. Anyway, I'm going to cut this off now because the camera's not working and it's all gone a bit south. But I really hope you've enjoyed this video. It was a bit daft at the beginning, but I hope you enjoyed that as well. If you did, please hit the like button. Please also subscribe if you're new here because all of that really helps out the channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you next week.